the truth the girls. Hi everyone, it's Sonia here. So I got to talk to you about a couple things. First of all, I just want, I just want to tell you what the deal is with YouTube. Oh my god. I realized last night that I'm like completely shadow banned on YouTube as in my videos really won't come up in a search. They're not being recommended for people to see bastards. And um, pretty much like the only people who can find my channel are you subscribers, which is good news. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you can still see me in the feed. But it's like a really weird thing happened because usually I would get about a thousand subscribers a month. Well, this month, I just found out yesterday, I had like negative 130 something. I was like, what? Like negative? So I went to see, you know, what's going on and I realized that what they're doing is making it so that nobody can find my videos. Except the people who already know they're there. So I was like, wow, you know? Like, you know, I talk to God about this and I just feel like God is just sort of telling me, <laughs> Just keep making videos for the subscribers that are already there, just for this dialogue that we have going. I'm still here and I hope you continue to stop by and watch my videos because now actually I feel like, you know what, Since I don't have to care about views, I don't have to care about, you know, earnings. Certainly no one new is going to come in, get involved. So why don't we just talk about, you know, what comes up, right? Because every time I post a video, you guys have comments and sometimes like, a lot of them are like on a similar theme and I'm like, ah, I should make a video about that. Well, maybe I will, right? Well, today, the other thing, oh my God, my son, who's autistic, of course, you already know that because if you're here, you know because you've been probably here for a long time. Um, his birthday is next weekend. And man, all of you out there who are autism parents, you already know birthdays are really hard. They're like one of the hardest Oh God, I'm gonna cry. One of the hardest days of the year. Because it's like the day where it's really in your face, just how marginalized your kid is. It, and it really hurts, you know? You can, I can accept it. It's like, yeah, okay, God, this is what we have. It still hurts. Like, it's so weird to be a child and to be so isolated. And I do think it's better for him not to be in school. That was actually worse. Just yesterday, somebody was telling me, oh, why don't you put him back in school? It's not right. It's not with other kids. Trust me. I've tried. Oh, why don't you move to NDG? You know, there's more kids here. No, that's not going to change anything. Because even when the kids like him, the parents don't want to get involved. And so, like, today, actually, he was supposed to go out on an outing with two friends. And these are, like, people he's known a long time. Both girls... Um, so usually it goes well with the second one. I'll call her C. Um, but you know, today we were doing this outing and Gunnar was really upset because the other one, let's call her S at the last minute she canceled. I mean, he only had two people invited and one of them canceled because she wanted to go to another party. End of the year school party, kind of understandable, but at the same time for Gunnar, it was very, very big disappointment. So he couldn't get to sleep till four in the morning. Then he got up at 10, his little friend came over at 11 and we were supposed to go to the planetarium. And we went there and we saw the, um, the movie or whatever it is. And then Gunnar had a meltdown like right after and it was a big one. It was like, you know, shut down, nonverbal, grunting, hand jives, walking in the wrong direction, stomping around barefoot. It was really like, I mean, you know, he's, <clears throat> sorry, he's 12 and I, it doesn't happen very often, but it's 12 years old and it's like still doing that, you know, and it's just like, well, everyone who said, why don't you put him in school? Why don't you put him in soccer? Why don't you just move to NDG? That's why, because that stuff doesn't really matter where you are. It's still there and nobody wants to deal with it. Nobody wants to get involved. And I did not want to deal with it either and I was, honestly like he's getting big and when he has these like meltdowns I feel really like traumatized after you know I mean I can't touch him because if I touch him it's gonna make it worse so I just yelled at him and I told him listen you better get it together somebody's gonna call the police 
and I got him in the car and I insisted that he drink some orange juice to get his blood sugar up and he was really like resisting. He told me he was angry after he told me he was angry because I had told him to stop touching me because he, he always he does this to me all the time. Every time he talks to me, he, like grabs me, you know, like it's not enough to use words, you know. And I'd, I, he'd done it many times and I got more and more annoyed and more stern and finally I was like, stop doing it, you know. And he got really mad and that was the tipping point that he was hungry, he was tired, and then he got mad and that was it. And it's hard enough being isolated, having like one out of two friends cancel. And then actually we had a really horrible time because of his behavior. So, you know, birthdays, usually it's just like, I know it's just culture and whatever, but it's like, it's usually a big part of your childhood. You have your friends over, you get invited to other people's birthdays. And, and it just, you know, the, the birthday thing, I don't know about you, but to me, the birthday thing, it just highlights the lack of inclusivity. It highlights the fact that nobody invites you, not just to birthdays, but for Halloween and Christmas and Easter and whatever people do, St. Patrick's Day or whatever. Um, it just highlights how much you're just not part of things and, and how nobody wants to come and see you and you don't get invited anywhere else. And then on your own birthday, like then, especially when things go wrong, it's just like, oh my God. It was so hard that I, I'm just sitting here and it's like, I can feel the sadness like in every cell in my body. And I'm thinking, you know, how, how, how do I accept this? It's not, I can accept it, but I don't like it. You know, it's just, it is sad. It was sad, it was hard, it was scary, actually. There's so many layers. You people who have autistic children, you know what I'm talking about? I know you do. The, the, all the layers of, you know, I know everybody's judging me, first of all. I know it looks like, oh, my kid's totally out of control. And then there's a like, why is my kid out of control? Am I abusing him? Is somebody call going to call 911? There's the fear. And then there's like the anxiety about, he's going to run into the road. And then there's the, how am I going to get him out of here? What about this other kid? And then there's like the anger towards him. Like, you're 12 years old. How did this happen today? Let's just say, like, it's a hard day. It's hard. And especially on it for his birthday. Like, his birthday's next week. Um, you guys don't have a Facebook uh, group page, actually. Um, I was just going to say, I'm going to post something there, like, to wish him a happy birthday. It would be really nice if you guys, like, left him a comment, you know? Anyway, all those of you who have autistic children, I'm, like, just sharing this with you. Like, if you have issues like that, whatever, go, feel free to talk about it in the comments, you know? But yeah, like, so maybe that's the good thing about YouTube is that since they're shadow banning me anyway, and already I have a lot of <laughs> autism parents here in the audience, so great, we can talk about autism stuff. And uh, other people here with uh, other things we can talk about, which we will. So that's it. Uh, you know, I'm not here to, like, try to get your sympathy. I just wanted to tell you about what happened. Anyhow, uh, that's it. You know, I hope you're having a good day. And uh, thanks. Thanks for listening to me. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time. The Truth Girl.